Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Uh, wanted to do you a new tune, and this one, this one's got some. Uh, it's got a new right hand technique that we haven't covered before. It's real similar to a Dillard roller. It works kind of the same way, and uh, I, I, I thought y'all might like to learn it. So uh, we're gonna dive right in. This tune's called. Well, you you saw the title. It's a uh, Goodbye Liza Jane. And, and it's a fairly popular tune, at least around here. I, I, I get to pick it quite a bit, and uh, it's not that hard. I'm um, just going to show you an A part and a B part, and gosh, there's just tons of variations, but I'm going to try to slow down what I just did to, to show you uh, kind of a way to do it, and I'll give you an A part, and it repeats, and then the B part, and it repeats. And of course, you know, there's variations you can change those, and we might we might look at that again later. But wanted wanted to dive in here right off the bat and kind of show you uh, how to play "Goodbye Liza Jane." So, uh, but before we do, now I want you to go down and I want you to hit the subscribe button. Your subscriptions do help, and and leave a comment. Do you already play this song? Let me know. Or where did you learn it? That'd be cool. I because I really don't remember where I learned this from. So leave leave a comment where if you already play it, where you learned it from. That'd be awesome. Be sure to hit the bell. That way you get notifications. All right. So let's dive into this thing. Uh, it starts out with just a basic, just a basic little kickoff. I'm doing a pinch, and that's a pinch with the uh, with my fingers on the one and the three, and then a walk up. Uh, kind of like ballad to Jed Clamp at walk up, and you can walk it up. You can leave off that pinch if you want to, and then so the new right hand pattern is it's. three with the index so you need to practice that little pattern a good bit get used to that three four three one it's repeatable and so and so that's where we're going to start so it walks up does that roll Does the same roll again, but we're gonna index on the second fret, third string, fourth string, fourth fret. So just a part of a D chord. So it sounds like. So we've moved that pattern to the third string. Uh, uh, well, starting on the second, two, three, two, one. So, but the same right hand is index, thumb, index, middle. That's what we're doing. So, here we go. And I'm fretting at the third fret, third string. You don't have to. It would sound like this if we didn't. to a C chord. So third fret or open, your choice. And I usually just hit the second string, but you can pinch both. And then it's a 5-1. And then it's a pull off, just a pull off from 3 to 2. So just Hold your second fret down, third fret. And that's a forward roll with a slide from three to five. And all I did there was four, three, one, three, four. So that's a pull off from three to two on the fourth string. And then it repeats that. And then we're going to 
slide from two to three on the second string and it's a forward roll pattern. And we've used that in old Joe Clark. So two, one, five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one with that pull off. And then it all repeats from the walk up. And that's the A part. So I, I just take it slow. I will share a tab of this one. You can find the link to it down in the down in the comment section. It'll be on my selfie side. It won't be terribly expensive, but you know, a couple bucks or less. <laughs> and so just just you can grab it there. But I think I, I honestly, you know, I get a lot of requests, you know, where's the tabs? Where's the tab? And I, gosh, I hate to interrupt the lesson to preach a sermon here, but, you know, use YouTube's slow down feature. I mean, you can slow these things down to 25%. And it, you'll get a good chuckle hearing me talk. I talk slow anyway. And once you slow me down to about half speed, it sounds pretty amusing, I promise you. Uh, so be sure be sure to check that feature out. It, it's super handy. I, gosh, I wish I'd have had such an animal when I was learning to play. All right, so let's dive into that B part. All right. So all I'm doing is three, two, one, five, one. So finger comes down. So five, two, one, five, one, and then open two. That might be something new to you. It might be a little new. So what I'm doing is I'm pinching the second and third string, but I'm using my fingers. So that means I brought my middle finger up to the up to the second string. So that's all I'm doing from the D D7 chord. Slide up one, slide up one more. So it sounds like. put a five one on the air or you could just put a five whatever space you've got just watch your time and make sure it all fits nice and nice and clean and then so you can do that so done that in old Joe Clark. One, two, three, one with a pull off. And it does it all again. There's two parts of Goodbye Liza Jane. Hopefully you can put that all together. You combine that with the tab, slow down the the first version of me playing it. You'll get to hear it and just just kind of get the tune in your head and it, it'll all come together, I promise. Hey, I appreciate every one of y'all and thanks for putting up with me and letting me show you my new toys and teach you a few tunes man it's so exciting to hear y'all learning to play i've got several of y'all that send me videos from time to time and man it's a treat y'all learning to pick and boy that just makes me proud gosh we'll see y'all next time bye y'all